everybody, it's me, Tara and Eileen, and welcome back to our Nancy Drew Let's Play. Um, last episode, we were finally able to open the journal using uh, the trivet decoder, which was fabulous. Um, and this episode, we're just going to start right as we open the journal um, and see like what the journal says. So um, Nancy pointed out at the uh, ending of the last episode that flute um, is 7.025 megahertz. Um, gave his cue and told him what he was supposed to say in reply. He thought it was a joke, but that's okay. I can trust him. Pyramus, 7.057 megahertz. So Pyramus... 7.057 megahertz. He was in a foul mood, but I told him his cue and gave him his reply. I told him to write it down, and I can hear his pen scratching on the paper. Fisby, 7.050 megahertz. It looks like some kind of record of the people Josiah talked to on his ham radio. Okay. So, let's head over to the radio. I think we have to turn it on. And I think I might have put the thing in there already. Um, the blank that I was supposed to make. Hmm. <clears throat> Dookie. Oh, we need to do the this. Okay, so we need seven point zero two five. So this needs to be two, and this needs to be five. Hello, flute. Are you there? This is Flute, but you sure don't sound like Puck, so explain yourself. Uh, my name's Nancy Drew. So where's Puck? Well, I'm pretty sure Puck's real name was Josiah Crowley, and I hate to say it, but he passed away earlier this year. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Heck, I never got to give him his sentence. His sentence? Well, see, a while back, Puck dictated a sentence to me, and told me that if and when he recited a certain passage from Shakespeare, I was to respond with that sentence. Weird fellow, that Puck. Could you tell me the sentence? Oh, no. Puck made me promise. I can only say the sentence after I hear the passage from Shakespeare. Is the passage from one of his plays? Don, if I know. What if I figured out the passage? Would you tell me the sentence then? Uh, I suppose I could do that, yes. Is Flute hmm. your real name? No, it's just what Puck insists that I'm calling me. What'd you say his real name was? Josiah Crowley. Strange. I never heard of him. Why is that strange? Uh, he led me to believe he was this big cheese out in Hollywood, you know, some famous producer, director or something. Said he owned his own studio. He didn't own a studio, and he certainly didn't live in Hollywood. I'll be darned. So he was just lying to me. Well, that's all right. I may have told him a fib or three over the years myself. Like the time I told him I was a scratch golfer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. In any case, you tell me the passage, I'll tell you the sentence. Until then, over and out. Um, I think, let's just call everybody five. Hello, can anyone hear me? Speak to me, hello? Oh, this is this I'm piece. Disby, but only Puck calls me that. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm afraid I have some bad news about Puck. <gasps> oh, dear. They closed the play he was starring in, didn't they? That's why I haven't heard from him. He's too far down in the dumps. Oh, I was afraid it was something like that. Actually, mm. you haven't heard from him because he passed away several months ago. Oh, my. That's worse, isn't it? 
And after all that rigmarole he went through, making sure I knew my line and understood my cue? So he gave you a line to say and told you to repeat it only after you heard your cue, which was a passage from Shakespeare. Why, that's exactly what he did. He did mm. the same thing with you, didn't he? How he enjoyed spreading his love of acting. He called himself the Johnny Appleseed of theater. Yes, <laughs> well, could you tell me the line he gave you to say? I'd be delighted to. Uh, Thisbe, are you there? I'm waiting for my cue. But I don't know what that is. Puck was adamant that I not say my line unless and until I hear my cue. Sorry. Thisbe's not your real name, is it? No, it's what Puck called me. My real name is dull as dishwater, just like my life. Mildred. <sighs> Puck was such a breath of fresh air. His real name was... Uh, uh, I don't want to know. He told me that acting was his life and that he'd gotten rich and famous doing it. No matter who he was to the rest of the world, that's what he was to me and that's how I want to remember him. When I think I know what your cue from Shakespeare is, I'll contact you again, okay? Suit yourself. Over and out. And... Now that we did this... Well, I don't want it... A4... For... I hear you loud and clear. No. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew? What kind of handle's that? It's not a handle. It's my real name. Just get set up? Set up? Your radio. You just set up your radio? Actually, it's someone else's, or it used to be. Ah, so you don't know what you're doing? Sure I do. Well, a word to the wise, sweetheart. Anybody ask who you are, either use call letters or make up a name. No need to go broadcasting your real moniker all over the country. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get me something to eat. Over and out. Okay. I want to do five, six, seven. Five. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? This is Pyramus. Who are you? My name's Nancy Drew. Does somebody named Puck usually call you on this frequency? Somebody named Puck used to. Apparently he found something better to do. Haven't talked to him in months. Well, that's because he passed away not too long ago. Oh. Well, that's a good excuse, I guess. How'd you know he called me Pyramus? I'm a friend of a friend of his. I found your name and radio frequency in his journal. So why are you talking to me? I was just wondering. Did Josiah, I mean Puck, ever ask you to tell him something in response to a certain passage from Shakespeare? Yeah, whenever he rattled off this stupid Shakespeare quote, I was supposed to rattle off this stupid saying he had me write down. How did you know about that? Because he had other people do that, too. Just out of curiosity, what was the stupid saying you were supposed to rattle off? Can't tell you. Gotta hear the Shakespeare first. Puck made me promise. How long have you known Puck? I've been talking to him over the radio for a couple of years. He told me he was just this lonely old rich guy who lived by himself and had a bunch of weird hobbies. In a pig's eye. You didn't believe him? Rich guys don't own ham radio sets. They own radio stations. In their spare time, <laughs> they drive fast cars and sail around the world and hobnob with other rich guys. They don't shoot the breeze with working stiffs like me. But Look, if it made the guy happy to tell me he was rich, fine. No skin off my nose. But he didn't fool me. No siree. Not for a second. Anyways, the missus is calling, which means I got a skedaddle. Over and out. Okay, so we called everybody. And uh, now we need to figure out the Shakespeare quotes. Um... She wants to sneak into Topham's. Ask our Topham if he would be okay to look around that Shakespeare book he has on his desk.
Hello, Miss Drew. Hi, Mr. Topham. Now what? Could I see that copy of A Midsummer Night's Dream you have there? Why? Well, you said it was Josiah's You're gonna favorite make play. Me I'd just like to take a look at it. it. It's a very old copy. I'd rather it not be handled unnecessarily, lest it fall completely apart. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but request denied. It was nice talking to you. The feeling is almost mutual. So I'm gonna have to sneak in here to uh, look at the book. Figure out a way to sneak into, sneak a peek of that and take a really good look at it. So, should we just go in the secret passageway? Go in there. There we go. Guess I better not leave the lights on. I don't hear anybody. Now would be a good time for me to sneak inside and have a quick look at that Shakespeare book. Clear your mind of all thoughts. Think about nothing save. I think I need to find the mouse. Yori, be quiet. You're disturbing us. Here you go, buddy. Here's your mousey. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Jackman. Is it okay if I blink? Yes, it's okay if you blink. Just Josiah must have circled these quotes, but why? So, Pyramus. The speakest aright. I am that Mary. Wanderer. The night. Something tells me I better write down all the stuff that's circled here in my journal. Loot. Shall we there find pageant? See. Lord. But fools, these mortals be. This be. Um, if we shadows have. Ended. Think but this and all is mended that you have but slumbered here. Well, these visions did appear. Should I concentrate on the top or the bottom? Okay. I can't go out the front door. He'll hear me. Well, where was the? Am I trying to push it or pull? Push it. You're trying to push it, all right? I'd rather try to pull it. All right, then. Try to pull it. I'm good at pulling it. Where was the... Was it over here? Yeah. Okay. I feel like someone's watching me. That's How do I get creepy. the feeling someone's following me? Here? Yeah. 
Like, I wonder if somewhere back here is like a hole to her room, and that's why the picture keeps moving. Yes, I better not leave the lights on. Okay. Yes, it's me, and I think I know the Shakespeare passage that Puck wanted you to listen for. Let's hear it. Yep, so... Uh, shall we their fond pageant see? Shall we their fond pageant see? Lord, what fools these mortals be. That's it. Here, let me check my logbook for the response. Uh, now I'm supposed to say... Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about. Leave by road when the owner is in, because then there will be thieves about? Those were Puck's exact words. Well, hope I've been of some help. Over and out. Leave the road by road when the water is in, because there are thieves about. Let's try it. Flute. Is a character in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this means leave by road. This one means when the owner is in. And this one means when there are thieves about. Okay. Now we want seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, and five. Pyramus, can you hear me? Hello? This is Pyramus. Is this whoever it was before? Yes, Nancy Drew. And I think I know the Shakespeare quote Puck used to rattle off when he wanted you to say that stupid saying think so? Well, let's hear it. Uh, Pyramus, thou shalt speak aright. Thou speakest aright. I am that merry wanderer of the night. How'd you know? Long story. What did he tell you to say in response? Wait a minute. I had to write it down. Here. You're gonna love this. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in a dangerous neighborhood. I told you it was stupid. I really appreciate your help. Just out of curiosity, what kind of car did Puck drive, do you know? I don't think he had a car. And he tried to tell me he was rich. <laughs> Over and out. Okay. Uh, so we have Pyramus. So this is a dog barking. This is hold your tongue or be quiet. And this is dangerous neighborhood. And lastly, we need this at zero. And this at five. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? This is Thisbe. Are you the young lady I talked to before? Yes, I'm pretty sure I know the cue now. I'm listening. If we shadows, if we shadows have, have offended, offended, think but this and all is mended. 
that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. <coughs> the authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way. The authorities are alert for bad water, so do not go this way? That's what I was to say, although my delivery was much better when Puck was coaching me. Mm -hmm. And now, as Puck was fond of saying, I bid you adieu. Over and out. Okay. So, last one. Authorities are alert for bad water. Don't go this way. And then, bottom is in the note. Bottom's cue is in the note to Gloria. What's cooking? Well, I'll talk to you later. Alrighty, dighty. La 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 la. Leave. Hi, Nancy. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Mm. That's done. Figure out. Check. Okay. Check. That's done. Check. So Check. I just need to figure out how to get her out. I'm finished. Check. That's done. Check. That's done. Check. I'm I'm finished with that. Um. Can't check that off till it's done. Still need to find that staircase, huh? I haven't done that yet. Wait until Emily's not in her room. Can't check that off till it's done. Okay. You figure out that why that thing keeps moving, and I have a feeling it has something to do with the passageways. But I think I might have missed something in here. Ooh, right here. There we go, Karen. Jeepers, I'm behind one of the walls in Emily's room. I'll bet that's how someone makes that picture move. Well, she's not there anymore. So... What was that? I should ask Jane about the photo I found that allowed me to find that staircase that goes behind Emily's room. Okay. Guess I better not leave the lights on. What's cooking? I think I know why Emily has been seeing and hearing strange things. Well, I'm all ears. Tell me. I found a secret passageway that goes from the inn to Josiah Crowley's old house. And off of it, I found a staircase that leads to a space behind a wall in Emily's room. That's the staircase that's in this old picture. You mean, the noises that Emily's been hearing, the things she's been seeing, it's because someone's been sneaking around behind the wall in her room? Did you know about the secret passageway? No, and I've never heard Emily say anything about it either. I was able to open the staircase because I saw the picture I just showed you. And I found that picture on the shelf in your podium. You mean it was right there under my nose? Hold the phone! You think I'm the one who's been sneaking around? Well, I did find the picture right there. But I've never seen it before in my life. Besides, anyone who's ever been behind this desk could have seen that picture. It's hardly fair to go pointing a finger at me. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, you're just trying to help Emily. So I guess I shouldn't get mad. She went into town to run some errands. At least that's what I told her to do. Heaven there knows go, she could use gone. some fresh air. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye now. Okay, so we need to get that pick that letter. Right here. Um I very much appreciate it. first keep this note for me. Tuck it away in a safe place. Second, don't mention it or show it to anyone. Third. Don't ask why. If I mean this from the bottom of my heart, you are a kind lady. Okay, so the cat 
A kind lady who sparkles like good water or fresh water and makes me think that the sky's the limit. Okay. We're doing good here, folks. I don't know how much is after this. It, could this be where we find the well? goal is to reach the end of the path and to land exactly on the last spot on the board. No going over. Each card can only be used once. You do not need to use all the cards. To take a shortcut, you must be on the spot with a picture. Oh, it's like shoots and ladders. Okay. Um... Shoot, I have to type this all in again? Oh, phew, I was like, stupid. Okay, to take a shortcut, you must be on a spot with a picture on it and use the same picture to take the pathway. So like here, I would need to go there. Oh, goodness gracious. That takes four, so I wouldn't be able to use that one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that goes down. I don't want that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's two. Um, so I need to go thirteen. Maybe try the 10 and then the 3 and the 2. What? I don't get to move that? Alright. Let's do nine. Um, two, three, four, five, six. And two. There we go. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, shoot. Yeah. Uh, that was close. So I'm wondering, like there's no possible way for us to get this one because it takes eight. I'm wondering, we try to get the butterfly and the sun. And then if we use this, we need to have four left. So we, 
want to try not to use the four. Oh, we don't want to use that then. Ooh, I might have had it almost. So I did nine first. Two, three, four, five, six. Then I did five. No, six. And then I went across. And one, two, three, four, five. And I went down. And then I just need to get over there. So that takes me 10, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yes, 7, and then 4, <laughs> nice! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, a golden golf ball. Take this to Tiny Town, and for oodles of fun, use it there to hit a hole in one. A golf ball. No doubt meant to be used on that golf course of Josiah's. Okay. So, uh, this is Tiny Town. A hole in one? Oh, could that be a hole there? This would have been so nice to know earlier. Except for where's my ball? Frozen. Ball. Oh. Another safe deposit box key? Oh. Uh oh. Emily, please, just settle down. It's all right. It's not all right. Stop lying. Wrong with me. You've got to go talk to Emily. She's in a bad way. What do you mean? What's happened? Please go talk to her. She won't listen to me. Mm. I'm no help at all. Okay. What's wrong? Just go back to River Heights, Nancy. Why? What's the matter? I took a nap after I got back from running errands, and when I woke up, this was in my hand. It's one of the necklaces that I thought had been Aww. stolen. I have no idea how it got there. I must do things and not remember. All this responsibility on top of losing mom. I can't cope with it. I'm having a, what Jane call it, a nervous breakdown. No, mm -hmm. you're not. I don't want to talk anymore. Go home. You're just making things worse. Oh. Well, I think we're close to finding the will, so... Let's go to the bank. Go into the bank to... And I haven't had a flat tire this whole time, knock on wood. Uh... Hello again. I found another safe deposit box key that belonged to Josiah. Impossible. Josiah only had one box, and you've already opened it. Can you tell me whose key this is? It is one of ours. Where did you get it? I won it playing golf at Josiah's with a special ball. I had to ace one of the holes. Why does that sound familiar? I know why. That's what Clara always called me, her ace in the hole. That's who this key belongs to, Clara Pickford. Who's Clara Pickford? 
So, Clara Pickford was really Josiah Crowley in disguise. Apparently, he loved playing tricks like that on oh. people and hiding things right under their noses. Weird. <gasps> we did it. We did it. We did it. Uh, I wonder what this is. It. Gloria Dowd, now Crandall, and Jane Willoughby, circa 1912. Jane Willoughby? That doesn't look the least bit like Jane Willoughby. No, it certainly doesn't. I'd better get back to the Lilac Inn and have a talk with her right now. Oh, she in trouble. That's not the real Move Jane. Move out of the way, would you please? I'm kind of in a hurry. You're not going anywhere until you tell me who you really are. What are you talking about? I just saw a picture of Jane Willoughby, the real Jane Willoughby. It's been swell knowing you, sister. We gonna have a high speed chase. I can't let Jane out of my sight. Oh, she already out. <laughs> I was already. <laughs> uh, second chance. Please. I can't let Jane out of my sight. Ah, uh, no! Jane! This is hard. Um. Okay. I can't let Jane out of my sight. I drive carefully. No, Jane, 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 Jane. Stay with me, Jane. La 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 la. La 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 la. At least there's no potholes. La 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 la. Get back here, you. Where are you going? She's heading for the state line. I know. I'll take a shortcut and head her off. What's the shortcut? What's the shortcut? What's the shortcut? <laughs> I can't let Jane out of my sight. So at first I can't let her out of my sight, and then I need to take a shortcut. She's heading talking. for the state line. I know. I'll take a shortcut and head her off. Boom. Take that, Jane. Or should I call I think you? you? Just mind your own business. Ooh, Dear whatever Ned, your name I is. I know you'll be home from school in a couple of days, but I couldn't wait to tell you. I just solved a mystery. I figured out that Emily Crandall's guardian was really an imposter named Marion, who mm. intercepted the letter Emily wrote to Jane Willoughby after her mom died. She pretended to be Jane not only so she could steal Emily's valuables, but so she could convince Emily that she was incapable of running Lilac Inn and that she should sell it and split the money with her. On mm. top of all that, I found Josiah Crowley's real will. In it, he left Emily so much money that she'll be able to hire all the people she needs to keep the inn going. Aww. He left Jim Archer a ton of money, too, which means he won't have to close his bank. And from now on, he'll be able to buy his wife a new dress anytime he wants. As for Richard Topham, Josiah left him nothing. Although Topham still refuses to admit that he forged the first will and insists that he's going to contest the will I found, Dad says it's highly doubtful he'll succeed and that he'd be better off sticking to spoon tricks. Anyway, when you get home, I'll give you all the details over a nice big piece of slightly damaged cherry pie. Mm -hmm. Wait till you hear that part of the story. As always, Nancy. Cute. Ooh, we've been rewarded the title of 
the puzzle pro for solving puzzles at lightning speed. Great <laughs> news, I think. See, Frank and Joe Hardy have invited me to help them Here's solve the next a mystery. Game. Only this mystery takes place on a train. But not just any train, a train that was found abandoned years ago in the middle of nowhere. All of its passengers had simply vanished. Some people say the train is jinxed. Others say it's haunted. I mean, it'll be fun to finally get to work alongside the Hardy Boys, but I just hope the trip we're going on doesn't turn out to be, you know, one way. <laughs> Frank and Joe Hardy and guests are invited to join Miss Lori Gerard for a journey. I did not read that fast enough. Last train to Blue Moon Canyon. This one's pretty fun. I'm excited to play it. Um, but yay, we finally finished this one. It's not exactly my favorite, but I had a great time playing it and remembering everything that happened. Um, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Uh, the next game is going to be at the last train of Blue Moon Canyon, as it said. And um, yeah, so we're going to have a great time. I hope you guys come back. Have a great week. Have courage and be kind. And we shall see you all next time. Bye.